Hi, my lovely lads and ladies. I'm back with a video I haven't done in a very, very long time, but I'm going to do something different. I'm going to talk about bunnies. Hello. So basically, I'm going to give like some general care advice, some general stuff about bunnies because I have two and I feel like it's about time I spoke about them. Isn't that right, Archie? He's, he's a big bunny. He's a cross. He's a line lop. Look at him. Look at his ears. He's a cutie. Let me just put him back on the floor so he's happy. One second. Right, first things first. One. Bunnies like company. So many times I've seen people just get one rabbit and they just stick it in a hutch on its own. No company, nothing social, no entertainment. They need friends, okay? You need more than one. Two bunnies. Plural. Um, I have a single one. Well, I have... Not a single, I have two. I have another one. <laughs> Marshmallow, but she's not as happy about being picked up as Archie, so I'll probably stick some footage in of her somewhere. But um, no, they really do need company. Bunnies are not happy alone. Um, a lot of people are like, yeah, but I socialise with my rabbit all the time. You cannot replace another bunny. <laughs> like, bunnies love you, and they'll enjoy pats and cuddles and everything, but you will never, never be able to copy... You just won't be able to do what another rabbit can do. And you won't really see the personality of your bunnies until you get two of them. Or more. Just a horde. Just as many bunnies as you want. They need friends, okay? Um, which brings me to my next point. Rabbits need to be fixed. You need to have them spayed and you need to have them neutered. Um, simply because if you have a male and a female rabbit together, they will have babies. From as young as four months old. So, yeah, fix your buns. And I mean... Bonding doesn't really work with rabbits unless they're fixed, like female-female, they will fight if they're not spayed. Males will fight to the death if they're not neutered. And uh, yeah, males and females will have lots of babies, and no one wants baby bunnies having babies. Yeah, fix your pets, please. It's like, around here, it's like less than £100 to get your rabbit fixed, and I mean, that's like... They live 10 plus years, that's like £10 per year they're alive, okay? It's just... It's totally worth it. It'll make your rabbits happier, you'll be happier. Like, the males will just piss everywhere if they're not neutered. It, it needs to be done, okay? Just, just do it. <laughs> if you can't afford to get your bunny fixed, then I really recommend you not getting a bunny. That's like a necessary thing, really, in my opinion, to keep them happy and healthy. Unless you're planning on breeding, that's different. But if you just want pet rabbits, you really, really should get them fixed. It's not fair on them, and it's not fair on you <laughs> if you don't. Which also follows to my next point with litter training. Rabbits can be litter trained. I have a litter tray for my rabbits. Um, it's basically just a big tub. You can buy them literally anywhere. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. Um, it needs a hay rack with hay because they like to eat and poop at the same time. So, you know, <laughs> like, a, like a lot of people. Who doesn't do it, am I right? Um, but as I said, yeah, just a, a tub, like an underbed storage tub is what I use for mine. They jump in and out of it fine. They love digging in it and everything. Um, but yeah, no, rabbits can be litter trained. And they're actually, once again, once they're fixed, they are very easy to litter train um, because they don't have the hormones in their heads telling them to scent mark everything they'll just be like yep that's my toilet that's where i'm going um it does take a little bit of work to litter train them but it is totally worth it I, maybe if this video does well i'll upload a video on like how you litter train your rabbits but it can be done and it's so worthwhile doing especially because rabbits need space like you want them to be able to run around and you want to be able to trust them to not you know piss everywhere <laughs> so yeah the litter that i recommend using is do not use any cat based litter except wood like chips don't use any of the clay don't use the clumping stuff because that is pretty deadly to rabbits if rabbits ingest um like the cat san or the i'll put the brands up around somewhere in this video um if they ingest those 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 like clumping cat litters Basically what happens is it clumps in their digestive system because it absorbs all the water. That's what it's designed to do. That makes it easy for it to clean out of litter trays. But rabbits do not have the ability to vomit. And if they get a blockage in their in their body, 
more often than not, um, it, they will die because they are so good at hiding their illness. By the time you realise there is something wrong, they will basically already be gone. Um, so do not use any clumping li cat litters, just don't. It's really not good for them because they like to dig around, they might chew it, they might eat it, that's what they do, they chew things. Wood-based cat litter only. It's basically little wood pellets, I'll show you a picture of it. Um, it they wee on it, it breaks up. Like, it's not going to do them any harm if they chew it because it's just wood. Um, they chew wood anyway. That's what they're designed to do. My furniture will tell you that. <laughs> but yeah, uh, you can also use newspaper or you can use, like... I'm trying to think of what else. I mean, newspaper's fine, but you need to clean it very, very often. Like, it will start to smell. Rabbits have very strong smelling wee. And uh, you will need to clean them out pretty often. Um, like, I'd say twice a day if they were using just newspaper. Even, like, the, the rodent bedding, like, the paper, the soft paper um, bedding. I cannot remember the name of it. But that's also really good to use. But, yeah, with, I mean, pretty much anything that isn't going to clump and isn't going to cause issues. Don't use sawdust. Sawdust is terrible for rodents uh, and small mammals. Like, it gives off toxins when they wee on it. Um, so just ignore pet shops. If pet shops tell you sawdust is good for them, it is not good for you. It gives off chemicals. That lovely pine smell that you can, that it smells fresh. Yeah, that gives off chemicals when they wee on it. So it can cause lots of respiratory issues and everything. So I would just recommend not using it at all. Aspen is a very good alternative to sawdust. Um, but personally, I would recommend the wood litter because it's cheap i buy it online i buy it on like amazon i'll probably put it in the description of where i what it is that i buy but um it lasts forever like a whole bag lasts me like over a month usually for my two rabbits and i clean them up pretty often um but yeah so that's what i use make sure you have a litter tray that's big enough for multiple rabbits like mine's quite large or just have more than one because rabbits can be territorial over their wee like spots i don't know why they just they can be territorial over them. I think it's because there's like hay in it as well. Um, I guess onto my next point would be like the diet. Uh, so my rabbits get pretty much, um, I'd say 80% of their diet is hay. Meadow hay 24-7 every day. Rabbits need hay 24-7. That should be the most, the biggest bulk of their diet. I cannot English today. But yeah, if you give them too many pellets, they won't eat their hay, which is really bad. Rabbits need hay. They need it to keep their digestive system moving and they need it to keep their teeth ground down. If they're not getting enough hay in their diet, it causes a lot, a lot of health problems. So to save your <laughs> to save your betvils and to keep your bunnies happy, please, please, please just give them hay. Meadow hay is very, very good. Timothy hay is also extremely good. I think that's actually the more recommended one to use. Um... I personally use meadow hay just because I like I just like it more than Timothy hay they seem to like it more um but yeah so my rabbits get uh, veggies in the morning I'll probably do a, like some footage of me giving them their veggies like a big but big pretty big bunch of veggies in the morning um, and that is it that does them for the day until when I get in from work and then they get one bowl of pellets the plain pellets do not give your rabbits muesli because they pick out the bits they like and then they don't eat all the bits that's supposed to, so just give them the plain pellet food. One bowl, between two of my rabbits, so they get about half a bowl each, um, and the rest is hay. The problem is if you give them too many pellets, like I see a lot of people, they just give their rabbits pellets and they always keep the bowl filled. If you do that, the rabbit's going to eat the pellets over the hay because it's it tastes nice. It's like us eating Mackies all the time over a salad. Like the salad's probably what we need, but we're not going to eat it over the Mackies. Um... So you want your bunnies to be hungry because when they're hungry, they'll eat their hay and that's what keeps them healthy and that's what keeps them, you know, happy in the long run. Um, the pellets honestly are just a treat for mine. Like they don't even really need them and they're not starving. They're perfectly fat. Like they're, they're chunky chicks. Marshmallow is a chunky chick. Like she is not starving. Um, they can survive perfectly fine with just veggies and hay. You don't even need to give them pellets. But that's just personal preference. As long as you don't give them too many, then it's fine. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much the diet covered that I can think of. Um, I can probably leave a link in the description for like the safe veggies to eat, um, and the not safe veggies to eat. But yeah, I mean, mine get like spring greens, cabbage, broccoli, a little bit of kale, a little bit of spinach every now and again. Um, 
carrots as like a treat, peppers. They get kind of a big mix of anything really. Anyway, on to housing. So this is the biggest and most important part. Please, please, if you don't listen to any other part of this video, please listen to this part. When you go into a pet shop, ignore everything they say about cages. Hutches, too small. Those little plastic wire mesh cages, somewhere on this side of the screen, um, again, too small. Do not get a hutch for your rabbit. It is cruel, it is horrible, it is just not a good quality of life. My rabbits are free roam, and they should be. Um, I have a NIC cube, like, mansion that I basically built for them myself using like cable ties and NIC cubes. I'll put a link in where I bought them, I got them online. It was pretty cheap, it was like 20 pounds for a pack and I got two pounds, so it was like 40 pounds in total for a big old structure thing that I built, which is probably bigger than most of the hutches you buy anyway. Um, and because they're litter trained and I've like bunny proofed the crap out of my room, they're free room in my room and that's like so much space for them. Sometimes I don't think that's even enough space. I converted half of my cupboard into more space for them because I didn't think they had enough. And um, that's what they need. They need space to run and jump and play. Like rabbits need a lot of space in comparison to their size. The minimum cage size I would recommend for one rabbit is like six foot by two foot and I mean even I don't think that's big enough but that's what the minimum recommendation is is six foot by two foot for one rabbit you got to double that if it's for two rabbits um the in some cases cages can be good like don't get me wrong not all rabbits can be left to free roam unsupervised mine are very well trained they are very well behaved in most cases um so they can be left alone uh, but the plastic bottom, like, mesh indoor cages, um, they can be useful to an extent. Like, say you've brought two new rabbits home, they need to get used to the environment, or you're trying to litter train them, or they just can't be out unsupervised. Those are great, it's a great time to use that cage for short periods of time. Um, like, say you're at work and you can't let them out to get in, that's fine. As long as they get, like, over four hours, or four hours minimum, sort of out to run around and, you know, be bunnies, then I think that's perfectly fine. I personally would recommend six hours or more, but um, as long as they're really getting out and they're having some fun and enrichment, like, outside of the cage, then four hours can be fine. Because, as I said, not all rabbits are good outside of their cage. It's just a fact. Some rabbits are just destructive. That's what they are. They are a destructive pet if you're not careful. Um, they are quite high maintenance. A lot of people don't realise this when they buy them as cute, fluffy things for their kids. They are high maintenance pets. But, yeah, never get a hutch for your rabbit. Rabbits are not outside pets. They are indoor pets. Yes, I know you get wild rabbits that live outside, but wild rabbits have nice warm cozy burrows underground, away from predators, away from pretty much everything. They have massive open spaces. If your rabbit is stuck in a hutch, it's a big wire mesh at the front. Any cat or dog or anything can walk up to that hutch and that's actually really terrifying for a rabbit. It's got nowhere to go. It has no, like, it's, it's terrifying. So not only are there predators that they can get to, you've got risk of like, diseases from uh, from wild animals you've got mites ticks fleas i mean admittedly you can still get mites from like uh, hay that you bring into your home but that's why you you do the the treatments like every three months or something but yeah no i highly recommend any rabbits you get to be indoor pets you can get x pens for them if they need more space and you're not able to let them out free roam that's fine x pens are a great alternative they you can put lots of enrichment in there she's literally destroying her litter tray as we speak um she's she's a digger marshmallow just loves digging um this is a great example <laughs> bunnies are just little terrors when they want to be um but no x pens are a great way to have nic cage cubes if you want them free roam like which is great um on a temporary basis like maybe just to sleep in or to train them or anything like that the plastic indoor cages are also great but i would never ever recommend a hutch for your rabbits ever unless you have like a massive shed and you can provide loads of stuff for them to keep them warm and everything away from predators then hutches are a no-go just just no and they're so expensive for what they are i spent like 40 pounds on building a big old mansion for my bunnies that they can go in and out of whenever they want when like a hutch 40 pound equivalent would be like the size of my litter tray for them so 
it'll save you money in the long run as well but yeah i can go on to detail on both like bunny proofing and everything in another video but um yeah overall i think that is pretty much everything i can think of to do with you are making a right mess over there everything i can think of to do with bunnies look at what she's doing right now look at that this is what i mean <laughs> terrible but um yeah that's that's pretty much everything i can think of to do with rabbits um so to sum it up you need more than one get them fixed litter training they need hay don't get hutches <laughs> that's that's pretty much it if there's any other questions you can always put it in the comments and i will get back to you i'll always respond um but that is my general like advice for bunnies pretty summed up as quickly as i can think of um if there's anything i missed i'll probably put it in the description but um yeah well thanks for watching if you want to see me do a video on the other pets that i have and how i keep them and everything then um yeah, just let me know and uh, I'll get back to you on that. Thank you so much. Leave a like or a subscribe if it was good. And until next time, I don't know what that was. Bye.